welcome to Friday Friendly Kitchen, dear viewers. Uh, today's recipe we are going to make payasam. Let's see how to make it. There are three steps of it. So let's see all the three steps. Let's get into the kitchen. For to make the payasam, we have a few steps. Now I'm going to show you the first step is how to clean the sagu or pearl of tapioca. So all you need all you need is I'll remove this for a moment and you pour some water and you mix it up. This is just to rinse the uh, the tapioca. and you rinse it out so I'm going to add a little bit of water more This is good, so I'm transferring and I'll be back with you for me to get it done all in full. So now the sagu or the pearl of tapioca is washed and rinsed, so we need to soak it up for a while, approximately about an hour or half an hour. So I'll, I'm going to show you the next step what I'm going to do. In our next step, I'm going to roast all this tree with some ghee or unsalted butter. So let's get into the kitchen. To start off, to roast the three ingredients, I'm going to turn on the stove to a medium heat and melt the unsalted butter of two tablespoons. So we'll come back when the uh, butter is melted. butter has already melted so I have three teaspoons of broken cashew nuts first I'll start off with that so we roast them until uh, it changes uh, the color slightly to a reddish and then we'll add the vermicelli and the vermicelli I added was uh, a, a quarter cup of vermicelli changing its color. At this time I'm going to add the vermicelli and three teaspoons of golden raisins. It's a simple basic payasam 
or Kheer, they call it in, in the Northern Indian language. Vermicelli is also uh, roasted and uh, the golden raisins has puffed up so we shall remove this on the side. The amount of the sabudana or the sagu or the pearl of the uh, pearl of tapioca it is quarter cup and I'll show you the balance uh, and the other th other ones when I was roasting I told you the amount of this so let's get back into the kitchen hello viewers and here we are doing the continuation of the next step of the payasam i have one cup of milk one cup of coconut milk one cup of water quarter cup of soaked pressure cooked chana dal which is i i cooked it uh, before this so i prepared this before before i made the video and I have some salt which I will be using some approximately very a small pinch or two and I have one cup of sugar and I have a quarter cup of uh, coconut so let's get started into the kitchen so to begin with before we turning on the stove and I have the soaked uh, tap pearl of tapioca so I'm going to just add them into the pot and followed by water and I will break them down and followed by one cup of coconut milk and we will add the milk later It is uh, milk and it is cream. Together, we'll add the chana dal, which I have been soaked and cooked together with this. And at this point as well, I'm going to add some salt. and we'll turn on the stove to a medium for it to boil until the uh, sagu becomes clear hello viewers this has come to a boil and the sagu has already been clear so at this point we will add some milk and continue diluting them and also uh, due to we have sagu over here it will start to thick, get thickened so meanwhile we can just continue adding water so at this point I'm also going to add the roasted uh, raisins and also the cashew and the rice vermicelli into it give it a quick mix and I'm going to add another cup of water And also I'm going to add the coconut it's an optional whether if you want it or not if you don't want it you, you don't have to and those who have uh, issues with allergic to coconut you may skip out the 
uh, coconut milk and use straight away uh, milk so let it come to a boil here my dear viewers the end product of the payasam usually it's served with papadams here or it is served with um, uh, medu vada I'll show you another day the medu vada how it is being made I will make it in my own way I am not that uh, professional in making like a donut but I'll do it in a different way uh, so this is my payasam which I reach in my family which usually we do all the time um, and this is the way some some of the things that we I added in and I I removed it you know so and do try it in your kitchen and leave a comment below like the page and also subscribe to the channel so we'll see you in the next video till then happy cooking